Welcome back everyone, it's a tier 9 game on Siegfried Line, I'm on the defending team in the Assault Mode, and this is a fairly nice matchup for the M46 Patton, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite medium tanks in the game. Uh, only a few tier 9s in each team, they've got themselves one of the new Skodas, and WZ, the Nasty Elite 75, and Dangerous 5120. On my team we've got the Hoptic 704, a T-54, my Patton, a T-10. A large slew of excellent tier 8 tanks on both teams, plus a few unfortunate, well, I say unfortunate, but a few tier 7s that find themselves stuck fighting at this, this spot where they're facing a lot of tanks that are capable of <laughs> taking the abuse they can throw and sending it back at them tenfold. I overestimate slightly, of course. So what does the Patton do here? Well, Patton has excellent mobility, gun depression, a really, really nice gun. Um, very fast aim time, good accuracy both on the move and stationary. So I'm going to come and work in this original on the north, try and dominate it for my team so the team cannot easily sweep it. Hey, first thing I spot, A44, poor guy takes the first hit, or tier 7. There's a Persian coming to do the exact same thing I'm doing. Just like me, he's accurate, he's quick, and, uh, well, he's actually got a more trollish gunman look than I do. This thing's gun, this gun's tart is not noted for being very tough. Uh, but, Poking up here, looking for opportunities to shoot at people. Yeah, he doesn't really want to get a gun duel with me. Because I will outshoot him, even if... Uh, see, see there, gunman had just bounced it. He shot me in the front of the turret, almost the exact same spot. And my tank took damage. So, not really the best duel here, but I'm pretty sure I can assume he will help. Take a quick shot the T-29. Is it by a mile? The Perfect is interested in popping up. I think he knows that there's a big TD waiting for him. He comes back up to fight me, I hit him, back away, take another shot through the turret, and the 704, it nearly ends him. My reload means I get to finish off before he reloads. So, with that threat removed, I now can actually work to this whole ridge line. Not exactly with impunity, I have to be a little careful, but this ridge line is now, I'm very, very dangerous. Pop up here, A44. Boom, look at that, David barely in it, he bounces. There's a backing lay, ouch, that was right in my turret as well. There's a Rhymes of Borsig back there with a 128mm gun. You might notice he did not get spotted when he shot me in the face. So he's staying off at long range. Woo, that one might have been shot at me, I'm not certain. Pop a shot, don't direct the enemy tanks over there. Not sure if that was going to hit anything or not, but it's worth a try. Now we're going to try and do both some ridgeline and bush work at exactly the same time. I use the bush to keep me spotted, use the ridge to keep my tank too covered, even if I do get spotted. And that 5120, very dangerous tier 9 auto loading tank. So I want to minimize my target profile then. So now I pull down here. Yeah, he definitely saw me. But we need to keep punishing him. The less the points he has, the harder it is for him to run clipping out tanks in the late game. Throw a blind shot roughly where he last was. No idea if it hit or not. But I didn't get spot either, so... I hear see things are pounding on Super Pershing. Keep moving in on that auto loader. I'm actually committing a bit of a mistake right here. I'm not watching my mini-map carefully enough. There's an RU-251 behind me. But it don't matter. We'll see. Here, I'm shooting soon enough. Ooh, enemy tier 9 WZ gets Amorak. Tough luck, buddy. 5120 is almost dead. Look at that. I'm being spotted. I'm being spotted. Ow! Oh. Yeah, I didn't want you back there. Here, take that. Luckily, someone else noticed him as well. He takes a big hit from something. That's about 400 alpha. Then, as he turns to run, I put a shot into him and then fall back to help protect myself against enemy tanks still fighting on the side of the town. <coughs> However, the situation there has just got cleared up. It's time for me to see if I can figure out how to chase this guy off without getting shot in the face by the Rhymes Borsig again. There's the RU. He's looking away. And I say, this is my opportunity. Sneak, 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 sneak. Boom! Uh, and without ever exposing myself to that Boris Rhymes Borsig that I know is still probably hiding out there at the base. Our super person is looking a little beaten up, so I start getting a little... I move up a bit see if I can uh, give him some supporting fire. Maybe that A44 will come out where I can shoot him. I want to be careful here. That boy is still back there. If I get spotted, he's likely to shave off the rest of my health. Oop. Just saw him fire. Yeah, he took a shot. Super Persian. I don't know if he hit or not. It doesn't matter. He got himself spotted when he did that. So, got to take this opportunity. Put a shot to the boy's safe. And then duck back into hard cover. He can't fight back. 
manages again, so I go looking for an opportunity to shoot something else, anything else, really. The team is not catastrophically losing, but it's looking really ugly. There's a lot of low health tanks there. Oh, Ryan's Morrison just ended the life of the Super Pershing. But once again, that means he's up. Even though I just got spotted, I know I can get up here and shoot and duck back away just before he reloads. And that shot looked like it probably flew true. I think we just took another big chunk out of his hit points. Now, of course, I just want to get away from that boar sig. I'm all alone up here. I don't really want to extend it down to the boar sig, so we'll move in here and start picking off some of these low health tanks here. Low health IS. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, don't, don't want to be shot by that yet. Don't want to. Ooh, he's not looking at me. Alright, well, he's apparently too focused on IS3 to notice the hat. Die! Oh, okay, alright, just leave me. Leave him on one health. That'll be just fine. I'll just go around him and oh, he's got a flank buddy. 25! Almost certain kill! Wait. Damn. Oh, one hit! Why, RNG Jesus? Why? Those two should both be dead now. More than 50% of the time. Hell, that 844 still almost no chance of surviving when I shot him. And yet he's on one hit point. Alright, well, I'm gonna sit here and waffle a bit because I don't want to advance. Basically, wherever I go, I just cancel the flanks. I'm gonna say, alright, I have to take a hit from anyone. Take a hit from the T29 to take him out. Luckily, he's looking the wrong way. Alright, ducking some hard cover here in case there's a poor sig or something kind of sneak up on me. And once I'm loaded, I'm sure I'm not on the radar map anymore, I pull out to see if he's still there, but he has run away. Well, now we're up by a tank, and the other team is starting to sense the writing's on the wall. I'm the last tier 9 tank. Actually, we still have two tier 9 tanks, me and that 704. 704 is in perilously low health. I'm not exactly great myself, but Porsche could theoretically still blow most of my tank apart with one go. 844 is cut down by the IS-3. I'm coming around this way thinking, yeah, maybe it was... Oh, 112 and low health. Thank you very much. Sweet. All right. Something took a shot through, hit behind me somehow. Not sure where that came from. But there's a boar sig over here. So I come this way, hoping to use the minimap to confuse him, make him think I'm coming that way. Pull back this way. Pop out. Oop, didn't quite work. Ah! Oh, oh, that was close. Oh, Oh, I'm very lucky that he only hit my tracks as my shot went high. Now me and the IS-3 are moving in on a pincer move, but I'd love to get this guy. He's a top gun for me. Spots the IS-3. Looks like just the wrong moment. Boom, take him out with the super nice, awesome gun on the pad. Because, you know, who needs to aim, really, in this tank? You just point the gun in the direction of the target, and unless they're really far away, you'll probably hit them. Uh, the, the, the mobility buffs on this thing are amazing for that sort of play. All that's left is a scorpion, so I load some high explosive, and even though I'm at 500 health and you could probably two-shot me, I'm going hunting. One of the members of the team praises me for having a good game, which is true. This has been a fantastic game, and it'd be nice to cap it off with one more kill. Here, scorpion, 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 scorpion. Come to Papa Pat. Oh, there you are. Oh, he's even one of health of my HE. will probably one-shot him. Yep. And once again, aim time allows me to beat him to the punch and take him out before he can shoot back. Let's take a quick look at the post-game stats of that match. So, here's the post-game stats for the match you just watched. It's quite nice. Got a mastery badge, top gun, and a high caliber. Nice big rack of tanks I shot up right over there. Um, you know, okay. Most of the match was Tier 8 tanks, so it's not surprising there's a lot of Tier 8 tanks on the list. The RU-251, the Borsig, the Pershing, the 112. Did manage to take on one Tier 9, the 5120. Actually, I think about it. Yeah, the 112 is a Tier 8. Wow, brain's not working tonight. Please forgive me. Um, so unfortunate, Tier 7's also got my way. IS, T-29, A-44, Scorpion. Notably, the A-44, the only, I only did not kill a, a lot of these tanks. A-44, I did all but one point of damage to him. Yep. And uh, Rhymes Borsig, you know, got all of his health. Uh, left C20, only one health on uh, on that one shot. It's just a lot of ridiculousness. Got about half health off the Pershing. The other half went to our Object 704. Just some really, really uh, good stuff in that one. Taking a look at the team scores. Well, <laughs> Patton, Rar. Notably, IS-2 getting almost 1,000 experience for 2,400 damage. Tier 7 heavy tank in this matchup managed to make good 
Prototype had a nice match. A lot of these other tanks actually had a really nice match. Just Object 704 just running around, just, just casually smashing things with his huge gun. Um, some really good play on the other team. Take a look. T32 with almost 3,000 damage. That can be a tricky with that tank. Skoda with almost 4,000 damage. Amazing game. E75 with almost 4,000 damage. Also quite typical uh, of that monstrous vehicle. Their Borsig, you know, he did 559 damage. I mean, he got like one sh he got two shots in, one which damaged me, one which killed that um, Pershing. I can't blame him for wanting to stay at range. Uh, Siegfried line's very, very tough on, on snipey tank destroyers, particularly on the northern side. You want to fight there. You almost need your opponents to do dumb things, like drive on top of the ridge like I did at one point, because I didn't know he was back there. But once I knew he was back there, he never got. I never gave him another good chance to shoot at me, except on terms that generally favored my tank better. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed watching that game. <laughs> good match. Good game, and good night.